I've just been put a bit of polish on. We've started shooting over her. I think she's going to be a star of the future. Um, she's never going to be a Miss World. She's not uh, the best looking dog in the world, but she's Jim's, apple, apple of Jim's eye. What I'm going to do is a bit of advanced work with her. No, same again. I'm going to do advanced retrieval with, with um, Melly. And what I do straight, straight away, same again, just walk along. Just keep walking. Come. Walk away. What I'll do this time is walk to her. Then she doesn't anticipate the worst. You see, I'm not putting my hands up. Not stopping. Just left her there. And when I don't come to the whistle, that's not. And what else do people do? When they blow the whistle, they go, that's not coming to the whistle. What you've got to do is knock your hands. Turn away from her. Come into the whistle when I'm not looking at her. And she comes. Good game. Good game. Before you have to do any advanced thing, you've got to do all these basics. Because if you don't do these basics, the wheels start coming off. And what happens? When you're training the dogs, you train them. If you do everything by 100% and put five things together, so you knit together by 75. Then they knit together all together and you've got to train them. What happens if you do things by 50%? When you put five things together, they knit together by 20%, it all comes apart. So, it's like Melly, the first time she ever went in the rabbit pen, She's hunting away, she flushed the rabbit, picked the whistle, she stopped. If you've not done your training right, that doesn't happen. The dog chases around the thing and you um, have an to track down and catch it. But uh, what we're going to do, a bit of advanced handling with Melly, and then I'll show you how far we go. Melly. I think that's an important thing, just in case you're missing exactly what he's saying. Um, it's got to understand the whistle. If your dog is out of sight, if your dog is not looking at you, if it can only read body language, then in fact it won't be obeyed. So he's using that whistle, he's making sure as he walks away, giving no body language whatsoever, stands the recall. Also, oh, okay. I had this problem yesterday. Uh, also, of course, what he's saying is a stop whistle. The dog can't see you, and you won't be able to blow that. So he can give it further instruction. <laughs> now just a little distraction there she came back and again looking for that delivery so not taking it straight away then her hold it there she's just waiting Notice how he takes his time with everything. Whether he's picking up his ball, his dummy, whether he's going to be loading his gun later on. Everything he does slowly, takes time. <laughs> Tempts her, teases her, as you might say, and she says, it's okay. I know exactly what you're up to. No problem. Now when you do this, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, the hardest part they find is blimey trees. Well, the thing to do is a lot of memories. So then the dog gets used to going just where you want it. So it seems a memory again. We'll have a diversion this time. A little bit. So I'm going to go back over the fence. Because it's quite good for me. I've not got a fence like this at all. A wooden fence. So it's all sheep netting and things. So we'll get a jump in over this. What we'll do this time is throw on the opposite way. Melly, Melly, come here. People say a spaniel. Should just be a hunting dog but you can have the best hunter in the world and she's very good at hunting but if the dog won't pick the retrieves and you can't handle it where you want it you're going to be out of the trial so you've got to do all your own work what we'll do Melly throw that one I'm going to send her for that stop her and call her back Melly Melly see she has for years notice how she comes back willingly notice that willingness that tail still going Saying, what are we going to do now then? There must be something else you're going to show me that I like. Get in, get in. I'm going to call her back. Get in, get in. She's coming back to the whistle. Very little body language. 
and then told her to go back and she's going back and working through that to exactly where that bird is. But you sometimes see with spaniels, you call them back, you start to direct them and they lose confidence. You don't want them to lose confidence, they want them to trust you, believe you and carry on working. That's exactly what happened there. What I'm going to do, same again, we're still doing a memory tree, but we're going to do it with a diversion this time. We've thrown that one back, she won't have forgot about it. But this is how we do our basic training on the um, advanced handling. And we, what we'll do now, she's just having a wee look. Good girl, Melly, Melly. We're going to throw one down this way. We're going to leave that, we're going to go for the one over the fence. Melly, get him. Save again. Notice how he threatens with his voice. Notice how he threatens with his voice. Gets her attention. There's a very young dog, and then pushes her out again. Make sure she does what he wants her to do. She knows when she's right. She knows when she's going a little bit wrong. But notice how she's ignored those other two retrieves that he's put out there for her. How she works that area, caught the scent. There somewhere. <laughs> and he's letting her work Hello. it. He's letting her work that ground, see whether or not she's got. You know, many times the dogs which will go up and just look at you. You do want Hello. them to actually work themselves as well, so he's tried to leave it to Get work it, but now she's got some help. Hello. She's come Hello. in, she's done as he Hello. asked. Nice try. And that ball is just thrown. Get in. Get in. Doesn't want. Hello. Hello. Get in. Get in. Hello. Notice he didn't want her to actually fail. You know, because they lose confidence in you, they lose confidence in themselves. And that's the last thing we want. Now what happens though, when you train, especially a young dog like this, you do not want them to fail. So what you've got to do is make it so they always succeed. And she's moved 
can you not wink out without going to lift come on? Oh, sit down. Stay there. So that's as much as she needs, you gruff boys. Just to make her stay there. I could have tried and found the ball myself. Right. Hopefully one of the Labrador might pick it up. We'll, have, we'll try with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. supposed to be good ones, just imagine you've got bad ones. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Are you sure it's not a runner? <laughs> all we're going to have to do is leave these for the Labradors to pick later. But what we're going to do, we're just going to make it so, let me succeed. I'm going to put that one down there, let me heal, heal. So if things are going wrong, you've got to fall out with the dog. When you train it, things have gone a little bit wrong, but don't fall out with it. Make your last retrieve simple. And so what I'm going to do is call it back, call it the fence, and then send her back for it. Yeah. Might have to draw a little bit of a diversion. Get it. Get it. Might find the ball now. There we go. Oh, Even though she's tired, don't snatch it off and make her hold it. Okay. Stay. Stay. Now she's worked hard, things have not quite gone right with Molly. Quite good because when you're training, we've got to remember things don't go right all the time. Even when they're fully trained, it doesn't go right all the time. But hopefully she's going to be one for this year. <coughs> and we're going to be running in trials. I will think in October. It's not, um, when you take a rabbit shoot, it's a bit different. But in October, she'll have quite a lot more game shot for her. And she'll be ready for the trials then. And then hopefully, with a little bit of luck, we might have travel at the championship at the end of the season. What I'm going to do now is bring out um, 